a lot of requests um, to do just a basic uh, video on what you might need to mount things to the lathe, um, how the pin chuck works, um, just different ways to mount uh, your workpiece to the lathe. So we're going to do that today. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's, uh, okay, let's start with the four jaw chucks first. These are, this one's the one I use primarily on the, my smaller lathe here. Um, I do have uh, a larger superno supernova that I use on my bigger lathe. Um, and I put some smaller jaws on it just to show you that there are a variety of different jaws you can buy for these and they're interchangeable so you can go either way. They do make a, a coal, coal jaw chuck too and I've used this on a few of the projects but they bolt right onto these um, if you want to turn the bottom of a bowl or something and these, these work nice too. So what I do is I just these are it's just scrap two by fours I had from when I remodeled my house so that's what you see me gluing uh, gluing my projects to all the time and they just I cut them down to fit right inside there and then I just use regular hot glue it's uh, it's not a woodworker's glue or anything like that I just got it at the local craft store I think it was I think it was Michaels or something I picked up a bag of it and it's just a couple bucks for I don't know. 20 of them or something but that's it there's nothing uh, nothing special about it and I just hot glue the piece piece right onto it um, if you don't have these are kind of expensive I think this one was about 160 when I got it and I think this one was close to 200 um, so they're kind of expensive um, all right the other alternative is to use a faceplate um, for mounting stuff like boxes um, this one I have it set up to do a specific specific job but you could actually just screw a waste block right to it and then hot glue your workpiece right onto it and that way you don't waste any of your good the good wood um that's the downside of the faceplate is it you know comes your screw is going to come in here about an inch or so and, and that's you don't want to waste any of the wood but that's another alternative and those are actually fairly cheap i think these are about 30 bucks and i think the little ones you can get for about 15 all right, I've had uh, a few questions on the pin chuck again. So what I did was I just used my grinder and I took a, um, I think it's inch and three quarter because I was doing uh, three inch duck calls. So I just ground down a, a spot and used a 16 penny uh, framing nail for my pin. And what I did is I ground it down until it left that just a little bit proud right there. And then I brought it over to the lathe and put it into my cullet chuck and then filed it down until it was flat all the way across there. You need that to be that pin and your 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 high spot right here to be parallel or flush all the way across there so it can roll back and forth in the piece. So it's just that simple. Um, I think this one, I think overall length is six six inches, seven inches, I think. Um, but it, it doesn't really matter. It's, you know, it'll slide in there quite a ways. But you just don't want it, you know, too long, depending on what you're doing. And here's here's another one I did. Um, and it's a 5 8 not 5 8 it's 7 8 for uh, goose calls. But I've done some other little boxes and stuff with it, too. Um, and uh, Robbie reminded me of something. He made a comment on one of my videos that um, you could do it with wood, too. And here's an aluminum one I had made um, when I was trying to trying to figure out how to get get the pin chuck to work and I just put o-rings in there and just left them just a little bit proud and you just put the call on or whatever it is if you're making a small box or something but that's you can do that or make them out of wood and do the same thing just leave them a little bit proud the aluminum actually cuts on the lathe so that's that's kind of nice too it won't won't wear out quite as fast as the wood but if you're just careful with the wood that'll work great too and they'll go you know can make them fast and they're cheap all right, and here's a cullet chuck. What it is, they have inserts that go inside of them, and they get them. You can get them in a variety of different sizes. Here's quarter inch. Um, there's, uh, oh, I don't know, three sixteenths. Anyway, they just slide in there, put the cap on, and then your dowel goes in, in like that. And you can you can do this with a wooden dowel too. I've I actually made a wooden dowel when I was first starting out, and they slide right in there too. All right, and here's a small one, and that's for making uh, uh, bottle stoppers. Is what that's for. So you can, and they'll fit. It'll fit right in a different one of the cullet chucks too. So you can do a different variety of different things. I think five eighths is the largest that they go. So 
on when you're doing your 7 16 if you're making one to make goose calls, you're going to need to turn down an end of it to fit into the 5 8 So they don't make a 7 8 call it chuck. It, it wouldn't fit in the, in the opening there. So you just need to turn that, that portion down. So there's that. Um, I don't... I don't have a, a vacuum chuck, so I can't really talk to you about that. Um, but I think that's it. Um, you know, these the face plates are just cheap, and you can screw screw a uh, waste block on it. Um, and then, just like if if you were to screw it on there, just be uh, aware of where your screws are. So if you're going to turn down a tenon to like finish the bottom of a box. You just don't want to come down and, and cut your chisel into, into the screw, so be careful in that. Um, but I think that's about it. Um, like I said before, I'm using the paste wax and mineral oil to sand most of the stuff with. Um, let me know if there's you have any more questions about mounting stuff. I try and answer every email I can. Um, but I think that's about it. All right, thanks. All right, I hope that cleared up any questions. Um, and if there's there's something else you want to know, just let me know. Just shoot me an email. Um, and the other thing is I'm working on the DVDs. I know I've had a lot of requests from people um, wanting uh, wanting some of my episodes on DVDs because uh, they don't have high-speed Internet or they know somebody that doesn't have Internet and they want to show them some stuff or just watch them on the, on the TV. But I'm hoping for the first part of next month I should have those ready. Um, but thanks for watching.